Alex Ogden, Hand Bookbinder here again. In this short video, we want to just simply highlight some of the equipment that we use. We've already highlighted the, uh, some of the small tools, uh, but we need some of the bigger pieces of equipment as well. We'll start with some of these uh, smaller of the bigger pieces. Uh, this is a, a bookbinding press uh, with the sloped uh, cheeks on it here. On the one side, on the other side, we have the, the trough for a plow. But uh, we use this press uh, real well, and uh, putting a book in and being able to work on the spine while it's there. Uh, that was professionally made that I was able to acquire. Uh, this is one that had been uh, put together by someone by hand, uh, just a handmade job, and it works really well as uh, uh, two. But it's, uh, you know, like a four by four, and uh, good, sturdy. It's not just uh, cheap pine that would uh, bow, but that works out well, uh, too. Uh, with regards to a good many books. Uh, this is one that I got with some other things. I've used it maybe once or twice. Uh, not as uh, eager to use it, uh, just uh, big and bulky, but uh, we do use that one uh, from time to time on uh, a few reserved books. This is another type of a book press that I use quite a bit. Uh, this one was produced by a fellow in uh, California. It's not a bad one. I made one myself years ago that worked quite well. Wish I still had it. But uh, you can see it's got formica. It's just from cabinet making and some extra pieces of, uh, of uh, countertop. And he used that. But uh, you can do quite a bit with this. And uh, put your book in and be able to tamp it down real good. And so I do quite a bit with this little press uh, as well. Here we see a sewing frame. And uh, a nice, big, wide sewing frame for sewing signatures together. And uh, easy to take apart and put together, but it's a, a really nice sewing frame. And so when sewing signatures together to form a book or having to re-sew a book, then this is the device that we use for that. With the tapes uh, running down, uh, it works out really, really well. This is my Sharp Fix 2000, my leather pairing machine. And it works uh, really well to speed up the process of pairing leather. i just demonstrate here real briefly. But uh, you can put your leather in and make adjustments in various places so that you can uh, pair the leather real well. Uh, such as in this case, we're able to quickly take off large amounts of the leather that will uh, make the process of getting that piece of leather ready for uh, the binding uh, go by a lot quicker. So you can see that will turn over and, and sit flat real quick and easy. Uh, this process goes. So that's my Sharpex. That's a wonderful little device I've added to my collection. This is one of my book presses. I use this one mainly for nipping. Once we've uh, glued boards on the material or for the leather, then we can uh, quickly bring it down and, and uh, give it a quick press back off of it and that will nip it or squeeze, quick, get a quick squeeze of that, that glue out of there. Uh, but nevertheless, that's one of my two book presses. I'll show you the other one here momentarily. Here you see my other book press. This one, uh, my teachers that I bought this equipment from, they had put an extra pipe in here to extend it. But by the use of this press, with uh, these boards, we can use this for casing books in and uh, multiple books we can case in at, at a time and put them under pressure while they dry. But then right next to it you also see my quick print. This is the quick print 85 uh, with the self-centering uh, 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 type holder, the, the large type holder with the individual uh, line screws to uh, individually center each particular line. Uh, but uh, this is a, a good uh, unit, works really well We've got the RoboTemp adjustable uh, thermometer on it. Works really well. Uh, really, certainly like that. And then down below it, I have a type cabinet that came with the deal. And uh, it is uh, somewhat full of type. I use uh, uh, a number of different type styles. I've got some uh, hot uh, slugs, some hot lead slug, slugs. They don't last forever, but uh, for Holy Bible and things like that, it works really, uh, really well. And uh, but we've got a number of different fonts from small, very, uh, very smaller sizes on up to uh, some rather large sizes toward the bottom. Uh, but that's my main type case, 
and uh, the type that I use. I've got two or three others, but those are the, the main fonts that I use in putting titles and the like onto uh, to various books. Here is my cut trimmer. We can use it to cut rather large pieces of paper and board and things of that nature. So that's, of course, an indispensable part of the handbook bindery. And then I also have, of course, a cutting mat that we use to uh, cut uh, pieces by hand. But uh, this is sort of my cutting center. So this is some of the equipment that I use in the art of book binding.